Praise the Lord and blessed be the name of the Lord God Most High, the King of all kings and the Lord of lords. Hallelujah. Precious saints of the living God, the Lord God Almighty bless you all this morning. Thanks be to God Almighty who was and is and is to come and who reigns forevermore. The great I am, the I am that I am, the God of all flesh the god and the father of our lord jesus christ the alpha and the omega the beginning and the end the first and the last the ancient of days the lion of the tribe of judah the lily of the valley our good shepherd jehovah elohim jehovah el shaddai jehovah el elion jehovah rapha jehovah chikinu jehovah shalom jehovah jireh jehovah makadeske this morning in the name of the lord jesus christ the name that is above every other name and at the mention of his name every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that jesus christ is lord to the glory of god the father hallelujah precious saints of the lord the lord bless you all this morning and thanks be to god that in his name he has given us the gift of life and he has given us also the, the gift of all life and we partake of life and godliness that is in him. And by the grace and the mercies of God, uh, we are grateful that he has kept our lives, preserved us and protected us and given us life once again. The Bible says, in him was life and the life was the light of man and the light shineth into the darkness and the darkness comprehended it not the bible also says that for he came that we might have life and have it more abundantly so we thank god for giving us abundant life that is in christ jesus his son and as we partake of this abundant life that he has given us this morning he will bless us and continue to favor us in all dimensions of our lives in the name of jesus so may the lord bless you this morning and may the lord favor you and may the hand of the lord locate you wherever you are this morning as i minister the word of exhortation morning devotional message unto you i trust the almighty god that he will speak to us expressly by the power of the holy spirit through his word and his word will bless our lives revive us equip us motivate us ignite us lift us up and catapult us to our place that is in christ jesus hallelujah the lord bless you in jesus mighty name amen and amen this morning uh, my message for this morning is found in the book of jeremiah chapter number 30 the verse number 17 to the verse number 19 the book of jeremiah chapter number 30 the verse number 17 reading to the verse number 19 hallelujah praise be to god forevermore and the title of my message for today under uh, the power of divine restoration is called restoration is coming to you restoration is coming to you hallelujah the lord bless you in jesus name let's have a word of prayer heavenly father in the name of jesus thank you this morning once again for the opportunity and the privilege that you have given us through your word and through your grace i pray in the name of jesus that father as your word comes forth let your word liberate let your word break yokes let your word restore us and bring us to our place of increase and abundance and multiplicity in jesus mighty name amen and amen hallelujah praise be to god forevermore people of god jeremiah the book of jeremiah chapter number 30 reading from the verse number 17 to the verse number 19 let's hear the word of the lord I'm reading from the King James Version. Praise be to God forevermore. The Bible says, he said, For I will restore health unto thee. I will heal thee of thy wounds, saith the Lord. Because they call thee an outcast, saying, This is Zion, whom no man seeketh after. 
Thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will bring again the captivity of Jacob's tent, and have mercy on his dwelling places, and the city shall be built upon her own heap, and the palace shall remain after the manner thereof, and out of them shall proceed thanksgiving, and the voice of them that make merry. And I will multiply them, and they shall not be few. And I will also glorify them, and they shall not be small. Hallelujah. Praise be to God forevermore in the highest. Hallelujah. I will read uh, the New International Version for more clarity and understanding. Hallelujah. Praise be to God forevermore. The New International Version, Jeremiah chapter 30 reading from the verse 17 to the verse number 19 praise be to god let's hear the word of god hallelujah the bible says he said i will restore to you health and heal your wounds declares the lord because you are called an outcast zion for whom no one cares this is what the lord says i will restore the fortunes of jacob's tent and have compassion on his dwellings the city will be rebuilt on their on her ruins and the palace will stand in its proper place from them will come songs of thanksgiving and the sound of rejoicing and i will add to their numbers and they will not be decreased i will bring them honor and they will not be disdained hallelujah praise be to god forevermore that is powerful. This is the word of the Lord for us, people of God. May the Lord bless the reading and the audacity of his word. Praise be to God forevermore. People of God, this is the word of the Lord for us this morning. This context of Jeremiah the prophet chapter 30 talks about the restoration of Israel. When God wanted to restore Israel and Judah back to their place of glory. And God used the prophet um, Jeremiah in his day, he was the, uh, the, the prophet of the nation that God used to speak and to admonish and to empower the people of Israel, telling them that he will, he will restore them. And so the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah saying that he should write in a book the words that he was going to speak to him. That he, God, the days are coming that he will bring them back from captivity and he will restore them. And he said he will also cause them to return to the land that he has given to his fathers. That is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And they will possess their possession. People of God, God restored Israel and brought them back to the place of restoration and to the place of their possession. In this month, being the month of restoration, God is going to cause us to come to our place of possession. God is going to cause us to come to our place of restoration. It does not matter what you are going through. It does not matter the adversity. It does not matter the challenges. It does not matter the difficulties. It does not matter the trials, the battles, the warfare, and all the captivity and the things that we are going seen in this dispensation and what you are going through right now what matters is that god is speaking and he said i will restore health unto thee now the word health there is synonymous to all things it is not pertaining only to our physical health but god was speaking prophetically and god was saying he said i will restore health unto thee and I will heal thee of all thy wounds. Uh, it does not matter what you are going through. There are some wounds inside of us uh, that is not only connected to our health, but there are wounds that are spiritual. There are spiritual wounds. There are physical wounds. There are uh, there are emotional wounds. There are psychological wounds. Uh, there are wounds uh, that the enemy has placed inside of us that is causing us pain. It is causing us adversity. It is causing us trial. It is causing us to the place of 
difficulty and affliction and god is saying i will restore health unto thee and i will heal thee of all thy wounds say the lord whatever you are going through whatever wounds you are going through be it emotional be it psychological be it spiritual whatever wound is it is god is bringing restoration to you restoration is coming to you in the name of the lord jesus hallelujah and the bible says he said i will restore health unto thee and i will heal thee of thy wounds say the law so god himself was speaking prophetically here through the prophet jeremiah and he said he will restore his people from their wounds and heal them there is healing that is coming to us physically there is healing that is coming to us spiritually god is healing our homes god is bringing healing to our businesses god is bringing healing to our finances god is bringing healing to our jobs god is bringing healing to our marriages god is bringing spiritual healing to our homes to our household to our nations to our cities to our communities god is bringing healing to the body of christ god is bringing healing to the church of the living god god is bringing healing to the nations and god is also bringing healing to our leaders in the name of jesus uh, it is my prayer that may god bring restoration and healing to our leaders and healing to our nation and to healing to our organizations to healing to our churches healing to our nations and our homes and our families and our communities in the name of jesus and the bible says he said because they call thee an outcast saying this is zion whom no man seeketh after for many of us the enemy has been giving us names the enemy is speaking ill of us the enemy is saying so many things of us and the enemy has even put a a a a a, a, a a byword and a proverb on us saying things uh, that is not of us but i came to declare to you this morning god said i will bring healing and will restore you of all thy wounds and he said uh, he will take us out as from the hands of the enemy and we will no more be called an outcast i came to declare to you that you should you are no more going to be called an outcast anymore because god is bringing you out of captivity and is releasing his restoration power upon you in the name of jesus and in the verse 18 the bible says he said that saith the lord behold i will bring again the captivity of jacob's stands and have mercy upon his dwelling and he said when captivity comes again he said he will he will have mercy upon jacob's stand why jacob stand because specifically jacob was a uh, was a descendant of abraham jacob was a son of isaac and he was a descendant of abraham the father and the friend of god the father of all nations hallelujah and god said he will have mercy upon jacob and we as children of god we are sons and daughters of god we are connected to the blessings and the covenant of abraham through christ jesus and god said he will have mercy upon us this morning may you receive mercy as god bring restoration upon us and heals our nation heals our homes heals our families heals our jobs heals our 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 marriages heals everything that concerns our lives may god God also show us mercy in the name of Jesus and the Bible says that he said and the city shall be rebuilt upon her on on his own heap and the place shall remain after the manner thereof and God is saying that when he shows mercy upon us through his restoration power and grace he will rebuild us and he shall bring us to the place of restoration I pray in the name of Jesus that in this month of October, may God show us mercy and may God rebuild us. May God restructure everything that concerns our lives. What is restoration? Restoration means restructuring. Restoration means rebuilding. Restoration means uh, 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 reconstruction. God is going to reconstruct us, rebuild us and rebuild everything that 
concerns our lives. In the name of Jesus, may your business be rebuilt. May your business be empowered. May your health be uh, uh, empowered. May, may your children receive divine empowerment in their academics, in every area of their lives that pertains to life and godliness. And the Bible says in the last verse, verse 19, he said, And out of them shall proceed thanksgiving and the voice of them that make merry. Uh, God is going to bring us to the place of, uh, of, of glory. God is going to bring us to the place of peace and harmony. God is going to bring us to the place, uh, place of joy and, and, and place of tranquility. I pray in the name of Jesus uh, that when, when restoration comes upon us, may we come to the place of thanksgiving, giving glory and merit to God in the name of the Lord Jesus. And the Bible says, uh, and I will multiply them. May you be multiplied in this month. Uh, may your business multiply. May the works of your hands multiply. May your, the work of your hands increase uh, in the name of Jesus. And the Bible says, he said, they shall not be few. I pray in the name of Jesus that in this month, uh, you will not see lack. Lack is out of your life. Uh, insufficiency is out of your life. Inadequacy is out of your life. God is removing the lack. God is removing the lack out of your life, out of your business, out of the work of your hands, out of your health. Uh, there will not be no lack in your life because God said, I will multiply you and they shall not be few and i will also glorify them and they shall not be small i came to declare to you that the glory of the lord is coming upon you as restoration is being released upon us in this man the glory of the lord shall be revealed upon you the bible says in the book of isaiah chapter 60 it says, arise and shine for thy light is come and the glory of the lord is risen upon thee. May the glory of the Lord be risen upon you as restoration is being released upon us. And everything about our life will increase greatly. It shall not be small. It shall increase. It shall increase greatly. May everything about your life increase. And in this month, may you experience increase, multiplicity, overflow, and abundance and harvest in the name of Jesus. The Lord bless you, beloved. Share this word, spread this word, propagate this word, evangelize this word, that this word will be a spiritual impartation and a blessing to as many people that receive it by the power of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' mighty name. God richly bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, thank you for the power of your word as your word has come forth to us. Father, I pray that you will restore your people. Let restoration come to your people. You have declared that you will restore everything about us uh, through your word. Heal your people. Father, touch our nations. Heal the body of Christ. Restore the church of God. Revive the body of Christ one more time. Revive our homes. Restore your people. Cause your people to come to the place of increase. Show us mercy, O oh Lord, in this season of our lives. Uh, let mercy be revealed as restoration is being manifested upon us. Uh, let us enter into the place uh, of thanksgiving to you uh, and let us also come to the place of multiplicity increase and overflow and let us increase greatly in all dimensions of our lives that pertains to life and godliness bless your people and let them encounter your glory and your supernatural manifestation of your divine provision and increase and abundance and restoration in every area of their lives in jesus mighty name i pray with thanksgiving amen and amen the lord bless you beloved Come to this place of revelation knowledge in Christ Jesus, knowing that when we connect with God in prayer and when we come closer and closer to God, restoration will be inevitable in our lives. And in this month, we will experience the restoration power of God. Restoration is coming to you in Jesus' mighty name. Receive it now in the name of the Lord Jesus amen and amen once again this is pastor samuel from house of prayer for all nations ministries in Borumwood, hertfordshire england united kingdom may the lord bless you shalom peace from god the father hallelujah amen and amen